My name is uh, Honorable Philip Ruta Rotino from Kenya, West Pokot County. I have suffered many years with diabetic and blood pressure. Our journey began about um, eight months ago during our last general elections in my country, back in Kenya. Previously, I have worked with the United Nations uh, for several years in Somalia and was back in the country working as a consultant uh, and also supporting my husband in his political life. Uh, he started going down and had to get into dialysis because he has been a diabetic patient and also suffering from high blood pressure. The dialysis is a real problem because it curtails you. Being a politician, it makes me restrain my movement. I could not travel to my constituency. I could not meet my people because every two days I have to do dialysis. And it was very, very expensive. Uh, for about eight months, we, he has had a lot of problems and we were so much strained as a family friends and relatives because uh, he, he was not able to do his duties properly. So during the whole campaign and election period, Philip had to travel twice a week from his constituency in Sigor, West Pokot, back to the uh, city in Nairobi for a dialysis session, four hours every day, which would make him very tired and basically rob him of uh, vitality uh, after the election period and back to Nairobi, uh, we decided to go for a kidney transplant. I tried Kenya. The treatment in Kenya was not available. So I had to resort to come to India. Back home, we also have a, a very small capacity of available surgeons and uh, specialists who can get this done effectively. And even the hospitals that do it very well are few. And these are some of the challenges we faced. My daughter who is in Australia introduced me to Dr. Ranjan. Uh, we immediately went online to find out who is this Dr. Ranjan and where is this uh, Fortis Mohali. I must admit that uh, doing a background search really gave us a lot of hope and encouragement. First of all, not so much because of the institution, but because of the person or the doctor. What we saw, the background we saw, the information we read, and the experiences of the patients gave us hope that actually, at the end of the day, Philip could have a new life. Uh, when we landed in New Delhi, he ensured that we are picked and brought to the hospital and ensured that we settle faster and be able to go through the process of uh, tests as fast as we can. He made our life very, very easy and comfortable. We were able to get through uh, Ms. Sarabjit all the necessary information on all the required legal documents. That was the biggest hurdle, that was the biggest um, aspect of getting clearance back in our country, in Kenya, and also being able to come and uh, get all the documentation done and clearance back here in India. The transplant was done on the 14th of May. The procedure took about five to six hours from the time they went to theater. At the end of it all, I met with the doctor and the team and he told me it had gone very well. Uh, from the theater, the patient was taken straight to the transplant ICU, which was another, another first for us because we didn't expect that. I never expected that I'll be out of ICU just after seven days. My donor came out of hospital after three days. We were informed by the doctors that it will take 10 days. But uh, due to fastness, efficiency, and the work the doctors did, Philip recovered in a record of seven days. Uh, nursing care was 24 hours around the clock. Uh, the doctor was on call, available, and uh, the ICU is very, um, 
very well taken care of. Nobody can just access it. And so chances for uh, infection or anything going wrong are really, really minimal or out of place. He's leading his normal life now. We are happy as a people, as a family, as friends, as workmates. And, uh, and, and, and we look forward that Philip is now normal. My life after transplant has really changed. I feel lighter. I feel I'm not tired the way I used to be tired. My swollen legs are not there. And I feel refreshed. I feel another lease of life. Uh, we want to be very thankful to the medical team led by Dr. Ajan. We want to be thankful for the people who were able to put back Philip to normal. He, he told us he would do his best. And I want to believe he really gave us more than his best. And uh, humbly, he said, it is God who heals and the doctor treats. And I want to believe that he has worked very closely with God because what we have experienced and what we have seen has been nothing short of a miracle. And uh, if you're not just looking for a building, if you're looking for the man, for the gifted hands, for the doctor, for the, for the success of your life after the transplant, then Dr. Priyadanshi Ranjan is the man to go. If I had to rate Dr. Ranjan, I would rate him 10 out of 10. If it is even 12 out of 10, I will do that. Because of the care, the, the treatment that he ensured that I got. I got what we call the first class treatment. Whenever you need a kidney transplant, please find your way to Fortis Hospital, Punjab. It is a place to be where lives are saved. Congratulations, Dr. Rajan. God bless you. Thank you very much. You are very happy and we will go back to Kenya to tell people that we have a very nice hospital in India called Fortis. Thank you very much. We are very happy to get our MP back, to get our honorable back life. Thank you doctors. God bless you and God bless the work of your hands.